Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Word for Daily Living. This publication is presented by Great Oaks Apostolic Church. We're located at 25687 Jefferson Avenue in the beautiful city of Marietta, California. If you're ever in the area, we will be so honored to have you to come and to worship the Lord with us. Today, our topic is going to be Choose Your Friends Wisely. We will read from the book of Daniel, chapter 2, verse 16 through 19, and as usual, I'll read from the King James Version. Please listen to the reading of God's word. Then Daniel went in and desired of the king that he would give him time, and that he would show the king the interpretation. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning this secret, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel in a night vision, and Daniel blessed the God of heaven. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. As I stated, our topic today is choose your friends wisely. In this particular setting, the king had had a dream, and he called everyone in to interpret the dream for him. Now, the catch was, the king had forgotten the dream. So not only could they have to interpret the dream, but they had to tell what the dream was to the king. No one could do that. Well, word got to Daniel, and Daniel said, King, give me a little bit of time. I'll figure this out. Daniel went back to his house, and he got with his three friends. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, as we know them. The three, or should I say the four of them, went before God in prayer. And God, as usual, came through, revealed the dream to Daniel. You see, in your world, sometimes you're going to have some really back-me-up-against-the-wall situations. And when you do, it's going to be so important that you have surrounded yourself with the right people. You see, you want to surround yourself with people who know the power of prayer. You want to surround yourself with people who know how to live right before God so that when they call on the God of heaven, he will answer. Get rid of the people who just run from house to house for the sake of gossip. Get rid of the people who mean you no good. Invite into your world, just like Daniel, people who know how to fall on their knees and people who know how to live right so that when you need an answer, it comes through. I'm reminded when the word of the Lord says, where there's two or three gathered together in my name, oh, if they're touching and agreeing, hey, I'm in the midst. You want God to be in your midst. Now, go and get the victory in Jesus' name.